Last time on Delightful Travelers, we started our new life in Greece. We checked out the beautiful island of Corfu, but we realized there was another island calling our name. That island is Naxos. In this video, we're showing you around our new Greek island home where we'll be living for the next little while. I'm Anna, and this is Trevor. In this series, we're finally experiencing one of our ultimate dreams, living in Greece. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. Welcome to our new home. I'm on my way now. Well, we're back living on an island again, and this time it is not in the Caribbean. It's right here in Greece, in one of our favorite countries in the end entire world. I know we left you hanging in the last video. It's probably <laughs> obvious now as to where we are. We decided to come to Naxos. We love this island so much. And if you're new, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. Hit subscribe. A lot of fun things coming up. So if you've ever wondered what it's like to live on a Greek island, this series is going to be for you. We've been talking about slow travel in the last couple of months as we traveled around Europe, going a little bit too quickly. So now it's time to slow it down and live here on Naxos. However, we didn't get any sort of special visa. We're using up the rest of our 90 days here in Europe to live here on Nexus. So before we get going, do us a favor. Take one second, maybe three seconds to hit the like button right down there. Honestly, it just helps us out and get the video out there to other like-minded travelers just like all of us. But how about this? Standing right here on a sandy beach, crystal clear water. We're right in town here in the main part. It's called Hora in Naxos. And this beach is called something like Agios Georgios. Pretty sure I got that one right. All right, it's time for uh, the traditional water test. <laughs> I have a feeling it might be a little cold. It's a little chilly. Like, it's doable, but it's a little chilly. If you guys are wondering, we're actually here in October. We're going to be talking about that a lot throughout the course of the video, what it's like here on October, because you're probably wondering that. The water is a little chilly. So you might be wondering, why did we pick Naxos when there's literally hundreds of islands we could have chosen from? Basically, like, we've been here before, so we knew we really liked it. We did debate going to a new island or coming back to one that we've been to before. As a lot of you guys will know, we were just on Corfu, and it was starting to get really rainy, and we read that in October it can be particularly cool and rainy, so we decided that's probably not the best bet. Naxos is really well located. It's right kind of in the central Cicladi, so it's very close to other islands. It's close to Santorini and Mykonos and a bunch of other islands. It's also not that far from Athens as well. It's also really good internet, and where we work for ourselves, it's super important. The other thing we figured about this island, because it's big, we thought that lots of places would remain open for the shoulder season, and so far that is the case. Now, I'm sure as we kind of get through the weeks here and through the months that lots of stuff will shut down, but so far, lots is open. But how about this? I'm sure any of you watching that have been to Naxos before are going, there's like nobody on this beach. This is heaven. This is paradise. There's not many people here at all, and it's still hot enough to go to the beach. Speaking about hot enough to go to the beach, let's talk about the weather here in October. Today is perfect. I think it's about 24 degrees, sunny and not overly windy, but it can get super windy here. I think Naxos is really famous for its wind, especially in October, and some people did warn us of that. So we've had a few days of really, really beautiful hot weather. Then it got super windy, and it wasn't just here on Naxos. We heard that like a bunch of uh, ferries were actually canceled all the way from <laughs> Athens down to Crete. So it was all throughout the Cycladis, all the way down to Crete. There was loads and loads of wind. The water was super choppy. Now it's beautiful again. I think it's gonna get windy again as well. We're just making our way into town now, and we definitely can't help but notice that things have changed since we were here four years ago. A lot more trendy places, a lot more expensive places. It's almost like Mykonos has rubbed off a little bit, and there's like these cute, bars, expensive bars. We've seen some cocktails that are like 11 or 12 euros. Haven't done that yet. But you'll also see in future videos that there's a lot of really nice coffee shops as well. And it's great for people like us that are digital nomads. Yeah, but they're not just regular coffee shops. They're straight up hipster right. coffee yeah. shops. Oh, totally. Like straight out of Brooklyn. <laughs> you can probably tell just how beautiful this little town is. We absolutely fell in love with it years ago. Funny enough, we hear from you guys all the time that'll tell us you were recently in Greece, you loved it. Most of you loved it anyway, but a lot of people say they went to Mykonos. And I think they go there thinking that it's the only place that you can get these beautiful white and blue buildings. There's lots of lots of uh, islands in the Cycladis that all kind of look like that. Mykonos in itself, we haven't been, but we hear it's quite over priced and it's kind of a party place so definitely not for us and I'm not not for a lot of you guys too I think yeah and well you can tell that we didn't choose party island here did we I mean no. this is 
this is pretty, uh, well, I call this very tame. Yeah, I bet you in the <laughs> summer you can get some parties here, but it's definitely more laid back. This is also one of the main sections here down towards the water. Not many people here at all, but everything seems to be open. There is some people in restaurants, so yeah, I like it. Yeah, not too bad. Again, we'll probably see as the videos go along how things will change throughout the course of October, like into the, from going from shoulder season to the end of the season. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> see what we can find in uh, this place. We're just looking for a sandwich or something like that. This is a cool little shop, kind of deli style. You can get your own drink. They do have beer and wine here. We're going for the beer and then at least sandwiches and stuff. We thought we'd probably end up with like a sandwich or something, but we kind of went for something a little bit Greek. So if you guys are curious about Greek food, we've done a whole bunch of videos in the past all over different parts of Greece, but we do have done a few like food tours and we ate this in the past. This is called Koulouri. So it's kind of like a bagel or sort of like, I guess, kind of a pretzel. It's basically bread covered in sesame seeds. And you can find them basically everywhere. There's basically a sort of street food. This time they turned it into a sandwich. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. It's got turkey and I think some cream cheese on there. Yeah, we have to try it out. Yeah. I'm very curious what it's gonna taste like. <laughs> Now, we'll put the price up on the screen, but it was only like a couple euros. Hmm. So for those of you from Canada, you might be familiar with the Montreal bagel, which honestly is probably the best bagel in the world. Sorry, New York, but they're the best. Kind of reminds me of that because it's covered in so many, many, many sesame seeds. I love cream cheese on a bagel and obviously on a sandwich too. And with it, it's just got turkey. It's really, really simple, but it's all about the sesame seeds. Mine actually looks a little bit different. There's like dark poppy seeds on this, but I'm not gonna try that. Anna just described it perfectly, I think. But I will talk about this beer quickly. This is a new one I discovered here in Greece. It's like one of the domestic beers, and I would say so far, it's probably my favorite. Now I'm very curious if there's any Greeks watching, like what is your favorite Greek kind of domestic beer? This is definitely one of mine. Now, if you're hoping that we're going to go to some other, you know, bigger restaurants and things like that, we will throughout the course of this series. Today, we just wanted a quick snack, and we're just so happy that you can kind of tuck in and out of these places for, honestly, just a few euro, have a lunch, and get on your way. We're just on our way uh, back to our place now. We thought it's time to show you guys where we are staying. Uh, it's about a 10 minute walk from where we just were and a five minute walk from the beach we yeah, were on super earlier. Super close to the beach, which is so convenient. Yeah, we made uh, close to the beach a priority. Oh, and I got a Fredo Espresso. Well, welcome to our place that we've rented for our time here in Naxos. We'll give you a quick little tour. This is a one bedroom apartment, which was actually really hard to find. We did a whole lot of research. It took a while, but we did find this place, which is great. Uh, it's got a very small kitchen, so if you're coming here to do a whole lot of cooking, it might not be ideal, but it's great for us. Got like a half size fridge there, totally fine for us, and a cooktop. We do have a nice couch here. It might be a pullout, I'm not sure. We didn't test it yet. And I made a little uh, makeshift desk over here for working, so that's great. Also have the TV too, huh? <laughs> yeah, whenever we rent apartments like this, especially for a long time, we always come in with the intentions of starting to watch some so shows, but we've been like catching up on work and trying to edit videos and get them out, and honestly, mm -hmm. There hasn't been time. We need to find time to watch some shows. <laughs> I know. Well, we do have another feature that's probably the best one, and it's right over this way. Welcome to the patio area. It's yeah, pretty big, huh? It is really big. It's got a drying rack out here as well, or whatever you want to call that, a line. And there's one on the other side. We'll show you that as well. There were two tables out here, but Trevor took one in. I <laughs> really only one. <laughs> and wait for it. Just wait. Here's the best part. Oh. There's a pool down there, so we made sure to get a pool on our stay here, especially in October. All right, we'll take you guys and show you the rest of the place. There's another patio right here. Nothing really on it, just a back view. I'll, I'll quickly kind of show you what you look out on if you're curious, just to like, how does Greece look <laughs> from, our, from our place? Just a bunch of buildings, really. <laughs> but there is another room. Yeah, and we're in like a very local neighborhood. A lot of people live around here, it's not just apartments and uh, hotels, <laughs> but this is our bedroom. It's really, really big, a queen size bed. There's another TV over there. And of course we go to the patio on this side as well. Yeah, there's a little closet behind you that does the trick for us given totally. we don't have a lot of luggage. Totally fine for us. We unpacked everything. This is all our clothes right there. Last up, we have this small little bathroom. Now we, we are here for a while, but we think we can make this work. You got the toilet. There is a nice little vanity as well, but the one problem that is, well, we're trying to figure this out is the shower. It's just really small. There's no shower curtain either. So when you shower, the toilet gets wet, the whole floor gets wet, and it has like kind of one of these handles. Pretty common for Europe. So I think most people in Europe kind of just like hold this up. There is a little 
uh, place to hold it, but it, when you turn the, wa the water on, the pressure just makes it like fire straight up in the air. So we, do we don't do that too often. So let's go back to the pool here for a minute. It's the perfect size for us and it's going to do the trick. It's a shared pool, of course, but there's really not that many people around at the moment anyway. Yeah, you guys might think it's weird. Like, why do you have a pool when there's a beach that's five minutes away? <laughs> We're actually super happy that we ended up going for a pool. We, as I said before, we found a whole bunch of other places. They were a little bit cheaper. We did find a couple of one bedrooms, a couple of studios that mm -hmm. we didn't really want. They were beautiful, but didn't have a pool. And we no. eventually decided <laughs> it was a, a, definitely something we Since wanted. Since we're here for like a, a longer time, we, we knew just from being in the Dominican Republic and doing this, like we really liked having the pool. We can get work done. You know we work and travel. We're not just on vacation for all those of you that are new. So we can just quickly get to the pool. But the other thing is, because it's so windy here. Yeah, um, today's a perfect <laughs> beach day, but some of the days where it's really, really windy, mm. the water is super choppy and wavy, yeah. and the wind is a little bit cool, so it's not the best beach day. No. But <laughs> down at the pool, it's been great. Even on those yeah. days, it's not too windy, and when the sun's out, it's hot. Yeah, so we definitely find it's worth it just to spend a tiny bit more to get a pool. <laughs> So you guys also might be wondering, how do I book this place? We will eventually put a link below, but when this video first comes out, we're still gonna be staying here. And for hopeful, hopefully obvious reasons, we don't want people to know exactly where we are. I think it would be pretty easy to figure it out if you knew the exact spot that we were in. So eventually, probably a couple weeks after you're watching this, we'll put the link in the description below, which is right below the video. You just have to expand it and it'll be in there. All right, well, it's a little bit later now and it's about that time to find a happy hour place. Yeah, we might've taken a little bit of a break and maybe gone to the pool, but it is happy hour now. We're back down at the beach about to find a place. We have noticed some happy hour signs around, so let's see if we can re-find them. It's kind of neat. I didn't notice this the first time around, but there's this little like boardwalk that you can kind of walk on it. But there are some places closed, so back to that. Yeah, this place is closed, but nothing there. There's still lots open though. <laughs> there is, and there's people just kind of still around, and it's like later in the day. What is it, like 5 o'clock or something I think something it's about like 5. That. Yeah, still people out enjoying it. There's still a couple hours, or an hour maybe, of sun left, so they're out enjoying it. It's still super calm. Like, can you see the water? It's actually calmer than it was earlier today. Well, we found a little uh, happy hour place. It is called Finica's, and we got some beer. Cheers. Cheers. This is great. We are right. sitting here oh, yeah. with our feet in the sand once again we haven't done that since the dominican republic but it's so calm now i know we said that already but this is perfect <laughs> yeah speaking of the dominican republic one of our favorite things and we talk about it wherever we go is that it's rare to find places where you can actually sit down and have mm -hmm. tables right in the sand and there's not that many places here that we've discovered so far but this place yeah yep. we're in the sand <laughs> so if uh, any any of you are new around here and you clicked on the video and you're wondering like how are you guys doing this like how are you gonna just kind of live in in Greece and we're from Canada and we're gonna live here as long as our the remainder of our, our a lot of time our days basically with our passport uh, can be so we work for ourselves we have the YouTube channel and we do web design we've talked about this before I won't go into it again but you can go back in videos and check that out yeah we have lots of videos where we explain the whole thing of all the different things that we do <laughs> yeah. to afford to be able to do something like this and we're not independently wealthy <laughs> <laughs> no or just let's call it slightly creative with what money we do make and how we travel yeah so speaking of how we travel this is the time finally we're settling into this full-time travel we talked about we admit mm. we failed at this in in, Italy. in the recent past <laughs> like we failed hard in Italy and we were supposed to do this in Italy but we just got way too excited in Italy and decided to jump around on high-speed trains now we're here we're here for a long time. We're going to live here like a local. Yeah, I can't wait. This is something we've dreamed of, as we've said mm -hmm. in the past videos, for years and years. It's something we always, it was always a goal of ours. And then, you know, the pandemic happened, which put a little bit mm. of a kink <laughs> in it. On, so. A little bit, yeah. But now we're back at it. And it's just really, if, really exciting. I remember being here like four years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. And thinking like, wow, like how, how amazing would it be to like live on one of these Greek islands someday? And I think we, yeah, I think we knew we'd come back, but we did, and we had some big goals, and like, mm -hmm. here we are, and we're we're about to do it, and it's just crazy for me to say out loud. It's fun to dream big. It's it's great when things turn out the way that uh, you're hoping they will, and I think we, uh, I think we made the right decision to be here. Plus, we got some. Uh, delicious mythos beer this time. This one we know, it's different than the one we had earlier. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the ones that you'll see a lot. We're just gonna sit here. I think we found maybe the perfect spot to watch the sunset. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool here. We'll show you more. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh, found a beach cap already. 
the beach cat is not very really interested in this, though, huh? It's not. <laughs> it went over to some people, I noticed, but it's clearly not into us. <laughs> we're also, I don't think we're going to get the sunset we were hoping There's for. There's a lot of clouds. <laughs> well, this sunset is now turning out better than I thought it would. It's definitely not perfect, but you no. can see it's pretty behind us. It's funny, it's a lot, in real life <laughs> right here, it's a lot darker. On the camera it makes it a little brighter, but there's a lot of clouds, but you can see that pink and purple kind of effect starting to happen. We did come down here a few nights ago and caught a perfect sunset. Maybe we'll put a picture up here <laughs> of the of we what, should. We, what we got. Basically. Yeah, it was really nice. we had uh, some cool photos from the other night, but now here we are living on a Greek island. It's a dream of ours and oh, I'm so excited, are you? <laughs> I'm so excited and, and I, just, I love that we don't know what we're gonna do while we're here Favorite and like so, so much open-ended fun stuff. Like, yeah, you good. probably noticed too we have sweaters on now because once the sun goes down it feels like 15 degrees Celsius, yeah, maybe a little bit It's warmer. not too bad tonight because there is no wind but on some other nights it's been like chilly yeah yeah pretty pretty chilly so i hope you guys are as excited as we are if you're new it's trevor and anna delightful travelers hit subscribe leave us a comment let us know what you think the fact that we're even here heck share the video if you're not new we love that you guys tune in each and every week we love reading your comments and we and extra special thanks to the patreon and uh all the youtube channel members you guys um are the ones really that keep us on the road we can't thank you enough yeah and if you're wondering like what are you gonna do while you're there mm. you should go visit some other islands i know there's some really cool islands really close to here we might be a little bit too late in the season I we're think still so. trying to figure that out but some people have told us that it's maybe too late to go to those islands it we're is not quite sure. we noticed today that a lot of the smaller ferries are, are, don't seem to be going so i don't think we're going to be going off this island but this island's actually pretty big. We're mm -hmm. in the main town, which is actually a decent sized town. Yeah. But the island itself is big. I'm sure we're gonna yeah. probably rent a car rent or something. Rent a car, an ATV or one of those things. I can't wait. Like that There's... and uh, drive around the island. Yeah, and if you guys want a little uh, taste of what this place is like, we do have some Naxos videos from the past. Maybe we'll put a link on the screen somewhere up here. And uh, you guys can check them out. They're older videos, but we were here before, but not like this time. This yeah. time we're settling in yeah. and it's gonna be so much fun. Here we are so back in Greece. Excited. Oh, look who's coming to see us. Oh, the cats. The cat came back. Hello, you coming over? Nope, oh, oh, oh. That was a different cat. That before. was a different cat. <laughs> but it was very interested in us. <laughs> it just ran right by us, but close. Typical it's cat. It's on a mission. <laughs> All right, we're rambling again. But guys, thanks so much for getting this far in the video. Yeah, lots more content from Naxos oh, coming very, very soon. Can't wait. All right, guys, that's it. From Naxos, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.